here with Mari Drissi. Most of you guys know her as the H&M model. She's also a spokesperson. <laughs> so do you want to kind of go into what exactly you do and who you've worked with and also how you got here? This time last year, I was approached, I was actually scouted and uh, it was for an, a campaign for H&M. It was all about recycling, so I, so I thought this is a great cause, why not? Went to the shoot and literally when it came out, everything just blew up. It was quite funny actually. I remember telling my mum, oh look, apparently I'm a model. <laughs> she was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, I kind of got thrown into it. But since then, I've just been using this as a platform to do everything that I've you know, always wanted to do. And I just recently got signed to select models. So that's something pretty oh, exciting. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm also an ambassador for Action for Children. Oh, okay, so I've done cool. a lot of charity work growing up. What kind of other stuff have you done? Um, so recently I did I did a shoot actually, it was for my own portfolio, but I I have got relationships with some in exciting brands like Burberry, um, oh, cool. Urban Decay, Puma. Yeah. So I did a, a shoot, you can check it out on my Instagram. Yeah, see, see the one yeah. with the little dog I was watching I know. Snapchat. Oh my like, god. So <laughs> he was so good. I was like, thank God he was there. He just made everyone feel so relaxed. I've got a few things up and coming. I'm actually, at the moment, one of the things that um, I was really passionate about was drama. I went to drama school, so okay. I'm currently, very early stages, actually um, producing a movie. Oh, nice! I will speak more about that, inshallah, next year. And oh, cool, I have, inshallah, next yeah. year as well, I've got a, I'm collaborating with a beauty brand, which I'll, as soon as they give me the thumbs up, I can mention, so just keep your eyes peeled and that will oh, be launching okay, next cool. year as well and with the beach brand are you yeah. modeling for them then so it's a collaboration so oh, i'm going to be okay, yeah cool. creating something with them nice so be fun. that's really yeah. cool it's nice sure, to wrote see down everything <laughs> yeah yeah definitely because yeah just the, there's so many opportunities there's for so everyone much for just, everybody yeah, and yeah that's there's like I mean. a space for everybody to do something exactly exactly it's just about being confident within yourself mm -hmm. and just knowing I know what I'm good at, I know what I enjoy doing and yeah. I'm going to work towards that and just so keeping focus. Like, yeah. I'm like tunnel vision, I don't see what anyone else is doing, I'm just like, yeah. go, go, go. So with all this that you do, how did you get into it? Obviously you got scouted and it was yeah. like, you know, you didn't expect it or anything, yeah. but did you want to get into it or was it something that you were thrown in and you were just like, I don't know what to do? <laughs> um, I did, it was a bit of both. I've always, I did art in college, I've always been like, creative, so I've always had my own sense of style and I've always, like many girls, loved fashion, so that's something that's always been there. I just never did it, I never thought to pursue a career within it, but then when the opportunity came, I was like, oh, this is perfect because, it is you know, something you want yeah, to it's something into. I'm really, yeah, it's something I would have always had on the side, but yeah. now it's like, great, I'm going to push this as at the forefront and then yeah. do everything else I'm interested in as well alongside it, so... Yeah. Oh, okay, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool to know. I, you, I don't believe anyone can be successful in something they don't enjoy doing. That's so true. You have yeah. to be very passionate you do. into what, what you want to do exactly. and what you do. And it's opened my eyes. It's been like such a learning experience. I've realised how influential fashion is. The same way the entertainment world is and music, yeah. movies. It's like fashion is just another way of influencing people and it's up to you how you want to do it. You can yeah. either, you know show nothing or <laughs> or show everything yeah, so. that's yeah. true so you mentioned that you went to uni did you find that it helped with your career and what you wanted to do or was it something that you did and now it's just thrown to the side back then when it was cheaper i actually oh are you in the nine thousand i mean sorry the three thousand the three yeah, yeah i was oh, in that so i was in that lovely. era so for me i would i would say that it was that's worth cool. going just it's always handy to have and so it just it does help you as well. Even me now, I've been asked to write articles and stuff. And just going to uni, you kind of know basic structures and you yeah, know yeah, yeah. formatting things. So it, it did help in that respect. But in terms of what I'm doing now, I did English literature, so it has not much to do with what I'm doing. Yeah. But it's still still handy now and again. Oh, so yeah. it is. So you you do. Yeah. Mind. Okay, that's really interesting because yeah. I always get asked that, yeah. and a lot of people are like, you know, you studied fashion, did it actually help? Because yeah. you work with your, you know, you've got your own brand now, and also like it's twenty seven thousand pounds, but then it's with interest, wow. so it's stupidly expensive. Yeah. But um, I still feel like my my course really did help me. Yeah. In a way, I think it's still important yeah. and to have something to fall back on. Definitely. So yesterday we asked our followers whether they had any questions for us to do for Be Inspired or anything. Did you have any questions that really stood out to you that you felt like you wanted to talk about? 
I, I do get asked often, that's probably why it stood out, how it feels to be of two different backgrounds. So my mum's Pakistani and my dad's Moroccan. And I thought it was interesting for you as well to answer. I'm yeah. sure people wonder. And I always said I'm like perfectly balanced, I feel. I, I don't lean towards one side more than the other. There's things about my Asian roots that I love. That's things really about my Moroccan side. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm kind of the opposite, and a lot of my friends oh, really? always mention this. <laughs> They're always just like, you lean more towards the Russian side. Oh, really? Oh. Um, yeah, just because I grew up there mm. and I speak Russian and I don't speak a- Arabic or Algerian. Um, and I've got oh. no family here either, so it's just oh, me and my parents. Right. So I guess I didn't get to experience the Arab side, but yeah. I grew up with my Russian family. Oh. I wouldn't have thought that. <laughs> so I have a really cool question that Makeup Shakeup07 asked. How do you stay focused whilst running your own business? I really find self-motivation probably the hardest thing, especially when a day doesn't go your way. That's super interesting because I just had two really crappy days yesterday and the day before. And to be honest mm. with me, I find that it's the people around you and who I work with, they really motivate me. And yeah. also having your own business you know like you can't just go home and expect somebody else to do it for you you're the Mm. only person making it and making it happen so yeah if you just decide not to do it then that's it you don't have a business and also i think passion because i'm so passionate about what i do i'm just like no like just because i had something you know a bad day or bad morning it's not going to stop me from doing what i really love doing yeah definitely and me too. That's why I like I said. As soon as I finished uni, I opened a salon. I was like, I can't work for anyone. That's yeah. just not in my my DNA. So <laughs> I've always had this self motivation from a young age, where I just if I do something, it's because I want to do it. I enjoy doing it. Yeah. And it's just reminding yourself that you've got two options: either you do something you really love and you don't work for anyone, or you do something you're kind of okay with, but you're working for someone else. So. Exactly. I think yeah, you just have to enjoy what you do, and it and it doesn't feel like work. It feels That's like so it's true. like a, your hobby that you is, you know yeah. you get paid you for. Love to do. Yeah, it's like you know everybody on Mondays they'll be like, oh my god, it's Monday morning on Instagram, yeah. and I'm like, yay, it's Monday. I know. <laughs> well, to be honest, I work seven days a week, so my Mondays yeah. don't even count. Exactly. There is no days of the week. There exactly. is no weekends. It's like twenty four seven. Yeah, it's good though. It's good. It, it works. Is. It pays off in the end. Definitely. So, Mario, where do you see yourself in five years' time? Oh, on a yacht <laughs> in the Bahamas. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> Obviously, I, I do have a five-year plan. Inshallah, it goes it goes to plan. Inshallah, yeah. So, um, with, with the modelling, this is not something I'm planning, of course, long-term. However, for now, it's, it's working out pretty well. I do want to collaborate more with brands rather than being a designer as such. So, I am looking to collaborate with a lot more brands. Um... I'm going to get, inshallah, a book written, I'm sure, once it's done. not enough. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the book, obviously, it's something that I'd love to be able to, you know, show people, share with people how I got here. It's not like a generic kind of job where you've just, you know, studied and I've, I've done it. This is, I've created my own kind of thing, so I, I would love to share that. Mm-hmm. Um, my movies, yes. I've got one movie that I'm working on now, but that's definitely not the end. I want to really get into movie production. And yeah, there's all my little business things and my fingers are in loads of different pies. So okay, that's really eventually cool. it will lead to me on a yacht. Okay, inshallah, <laughs> yeah, inshallah. Yeah. So we're going to play a little game. Basically, so you, there's a few questions in here and you basically pick one and yes. we're going to be answering them. Cool. So, okay. So I actually don't know what's in here. So. <laughs> what's your biggest fear? Oh, and that's, that's an interesting one. <laughs> that is super interesting. One of my sc- well, what's your gun? You tell me first. What's your one? I don't think this counts, but I'm super scared of spiders. Like I was I gonna say insects, so that's good. Okay, spiders. Like oh my god, I can't. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it. My one was a bit like nuts. I don't know if I just. <laughs> mom was like, "You're deep, so deep." I know it's like losing. I don't know my family was like crazy <laughs> and being alone. But yeah, let's stick with insects. Let's stick with insects. Insects is a fear of mine. Yeah. Yeah. And then losing my phone. No, not my phone. My family. <laughs> no, I'm losing. Oh my yeah, your phone. phone. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Okay, so do you want to pick another one? Okay. 
These are some really cool questions. They are, let's see. I want to open all of them, even if we don't do them. What's your favorite superhero villain? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so go, on, go, on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay, it's the Joker, obviously. Oh, you already knew. Sorry. Oh, you already had yours. Like you knew exactly who it was. Yeah, like I'm, this is. I'm obsessed with Marvel. <laughs> oh my god, so am I, but I don't have one. Really? Yeah. Have you watched Suicide Squad? No, oh, I can't be that obsessed because I haven't watched it still. I never got invited to the premiere, so I was like, sorry, I'm not gonna watch it now. <laughs> no, oh. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, we went to watch it. I need to go watch it. Yeah. It's um, really good. I think Goth. Uh, not Gotham. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, again. I love Gotham. Yeah, Batman because oh, of yeah. Gotham. Yeah. Batman is my like favourite, only because I've watched Gotham now, the series, so far, and it's I've fallen in love with Batman. Oh my oh god, god, so you're like Batman, and I'm, I'm oh the Joker. No. Oh, that's so crazy. That's really odd, yeah. Wow, mine's got to be the Joker. Oh, you were it's confident with Joker. Me. It's always wow. the Joker. Wow. You know, if Marvel, you know, you want to... If you ever want me to like go visit you on set, I don't mind acting or anything. Like Literally. as long as I'm there on the next, you know, the Suicide Squad. Yeah. Thing. Sorry, I'm gonna open this. What star sign are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a proud Leo. <laughs> Scorpio. Yes. Scorpio. Next one. Tell us something weird about you. <laughs> What's weird? Go on. What's weird about me? I guess loads of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing! Oh my god, so I apparently, like, <laughs> when I talk and I like to make eye contact with the person that I'm talking to, apparently I give really weird, creepy looks. <laughs> Which I feel like I don't, but apparently I do. Last question? The last one. What's your perfect birthday gift? Is that a birthday gift for us? Or something you For yourself. For myself, what would I love? Go on. No, you go first this time. <laughs> I've been going first for the other one. What is my... I don't want to sound too materialistic. <laughs> Do you know what? I? This is going to sound... I'm not trying to have sympathy. But I really don't have great birthdays i've stopped I've celebrating i've never had a great birthday yeah. ever so last thing um what's your hidden talent do you have one yes um so i used to rap growing up no way before my hijab days obviously hence i know a lot of people in the music industry um but as soon as i started to wear hijab i i did spoken word instead yeah so yeah that's uh well you're gonna have to rap for oh, us now. No. I never like telling people that because I always know they're gonna ask, yeah, and I, 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 ask. I swear I haven't done it for years. I haven't performed poetry in years. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> I have to actually think. Do you want to have like a shot first? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. If I do this, this is like literally. Something I wrote when I was probably like seventy. This is That's cool. old it's school, cool, okay. Cool. And I can if I if I if I stop halfway, it's because I've genuinely forgotten the lyrics. Um, okay. My age passing me like clouds passing by. I'm trying to pass this test. I wanna pass it high. Holding on to ties with my realist sisters, cutting negativity, rubbing off on me, blisters. Wanna be amongst those, I'll be proud to say. I'll be happy to be raised with on judgment day. No time to play, time's tick, tick, ticking. Like the bombs that they're blowing and the people that they're killing. I'm just trying to stop sinning. Will I die a believer? Or will I die and get told I'm an underachiever? This dunya's so tempting. Chasing after money when I should be repenting. My heart's... Uh, I forgot the rest. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I swear this is not planned. This is not, this is like so raw. <laughs> no, God. that was so good. Okay, yeah, because cool. we didn't tell you that this was going to happen. No, I didn't know. So guys, now you know, there's going to be a secret talent thing at the end. So make sure you're ready. Yeah, make sure you're prepared if you're coming. Yeah. <laughs> so where can we find you on social media? So you can find me on at Maria Idrissi. 
so Maria is spelled like Mariah, <laughs> and then Idrissi, I-D-R-I-S-S-I, and that's, like, everything is that name. Okay, so the last thing is, so, yeah. you know, I have my hijabs and stuff. Yeah. Well, we'd like to gift you one. Oh. And I have a few, currently have six in stock. Amazing. And um, you can choose one, so basically. Oh, I get this, to choose one color. Yeah, you get to choose, so here Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to give them for you? Yeah, <laughs> so there's a grey one. And then there's this mustard one. And I think I already know. We can keep showing them. <laughs> there's the brown, there's yeah. the pink. There's another mustard. This is the chiffon mustard. This one's actually my favorite. Like and then that. there's the terracotta. And then there's a khaki as well. And the khaki looks really good on you as well. Oh, thank I've you. got so many khaki jabs. I have no mustard ones, like plain. So this is perfect. Oh, okay, that's great. Obviously, it's got the bee on it. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, Great. thank you. See you wearing thank that you so then. much. Yes, definitely. Yes, yeah, send us a selfie. I will. Perfect. Thank you guys. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. Honestly, really appreciate you coming oh, on the show. No it's gonna be really cool, and also the fact that you're the first one to I go. Know, out. I and I think special. it's perfect as well. Yeah. It's really cool. Plus, like me and Mario are friends, so yeah. this really works out really well. It was nice. It was just like um, chilling out. <laughs> So thank you so much for coming on to our first show. It's Aww. been amazing and such a pleasure having you thank on. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure you guys subscribe and also be inspired. Yes. Okay. okay.